All right, sisters fans, I made a social media post about this yesterday, and I've, I've gotten some responses. And it has to do with the fact that when you look at Danny and how she treats Preston, it just doesn't seem fair. Well, I mean, I've been saying this for a long time now, but it just seems like she's the kind of person who can dish it out but can't take it in regards to how she constantly mocks, you know, Preston's culture, his interest, and pretty much clowns on him on a regular basis. Now, that, that's not to say they don't have their tender moments and whatnot, but when you look at Danny and most of her interactions with Preston, it's almost like she's annoyed by him and doesn't want him around. I mean, obviously, she mentioned this to Sabrina in the last episode, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me due to the fact that you're the one that invited him to stay with you. He's paid three months' rent in advance. And, you know, the only time you really see each other is when you're home from work and you're spending the night together, then the next morning, you know, he's typically the one who's up before you when he leaves to go to work or whatever for the day, and then that's it. So it's like, yeah, I just don't like him here all the time and this and that. And it's like the guy cooks and cleans. I mean, when he first moved in because, you know, of his family and whatnot, he's like, yeah, well, yeah, I can't work for them. So while I'm here, you know, I'm cleaning and whatnot. It's like, remember, she was the one telling him to relax and not do anything when he's like, you know, I'm just not used to that. So I, I just want to do something. I mean, to keep myself busy, not feel like I'm a freeloader or whatever. So I, it's just a constant battle of a good man just being treated badly by a woman. And then it's the same woman who complains about not being able to find a good man. Cause it's like, you, Danny is a prime example of she doesn't know what to do with a good man when she got it. Uh, what's that dude that, that has gone viral? Is it Kevin Smith? It's like, what do you call a, what, you you want a high maintenance man, but you're not a high maintenance woman. I, I've been seeing so many parody videos of that guy, it's hilarious. But um, I just wanted to talk about the fact that in the preview for the next episode, and I didn't mention this in the preview breakdown. I don't know. I think it's because I got the preview yesterday and it kind of threw me off because I'm used to doing those on like uh, Thursdays. But there was a scene where Danny's wearing a dress and I didn't want to say anything because I didn't really know what she was wearing. I didn't know if this is something that she was told to wear by Preston, but that definitely doesn't sound like something he would do. And I think in the preview, he's like, well, ain't you going to kiss me? And she doesn't look at, she doesn't really react. It's like she freaks out and is paranoid. And look, I know I'm an overthinker. I'm always the worst case scenario kind of guy. But Danny just takes it to another level. It just seems to me like she's wearing some sort of like Southern hillbilly, whatever outfit in order to not, I guess you could say, come off as stereotypical as a black woman to Preston's mother when they meet. However, it definitely looks like Danny is being hypocritically stereotypical of Preston. And on top of that, making a mockery of, you know, herself, really, in regards to try to live up to his interests, expectations, and culture. But the thing about it is, it's like what Zach tells Danny in the preview for next week. See, that's the thing, Danny, here we go. It's like you talk about how... You're tired of him being around and you want space, but why don't you just tell him you want space? However, this goes back to season one when Preston decided to leave Danny because she was like, you call too much, you come over too much, you do this, you do that. So Preston decided to not do what she said he was doing too much of, and then she got mad and then her and Zach had a heart to heart. Season one, that was great because for the first time we were actually seeing true character development for Danny but this is freaking season three and we're really doing the same crap again and I even mentioned this in the post I said with an asterisk even Zach sometimes does the same thing you know where he mocks like you know bluegrass music and this and that and he tells you know President, well you better not say the n-word and that and I'm like bro it's like you're, you're being so hypocritical right now and Preston's just minding his own business you know he's listening to some music he's just He's just doing his thing. I mean, and then you got the nerve to come in here and just, you fix dinner? Like, brother, come on. I mean, I'm glad. Look, they got the bromance. I think it's great. But I just feel like Preston, you know how I said uh, Fatima, you know, is being a, an apologetic punching bag for the likes of Karen and uh, Andy? More so Karen now. Andy's um, lighting up on her. 
I feel like the same thing is done. It's almost as if these secondary characters, the Zacks, the Dan, uh, the Zacks, the Prestons, the Fatima, the secondary cast is becoming well they're just far more interesting than the main cast which is well it makes sense though i mean it's only four main women and then their storylines are obviously influenced dictated and you know carried on by their other comrades if you will the other characters they interact with but it's just crazy to me that i have more of an interest and i feel like a lot of the fan base feels the same way i feel like there's more of an interest in the secondary cast than the main cast because the main cast to an extent has become stale and repetitive and there really isn't a lot of growth but when you look at the secondary cast they're really the ones with growth now i did make that fatima video uh what was it yesterday about how does she really need to not be i mean does she really need to be a member of the sisters group or you know is she better off not being in the sisters group and a lot of people in the comments were like yeah because if nothing else those toxic girls are going to be a bad influence and like i said in the video you know her being part of the group to me might actually be a detriment to her character because she can lose what makes her stand out by being just another face in the crowd like don't get me wrong i wholeheartedly agree and i'm happy that she's in like the opening credits and whatnot you know made the appearance of the BET awards with the rest of the girls but it's just crazy how this one character who was kind of in the C tier jumped all the way to A tier uh, because of how interesting her character is compared to the other cast but when it comes to Danny and Preston specifically uh, the synopsis for episode 10 does show that she's going to learn but I just feel like if there was another angle, like I really thought they were going somewhere with the racist half brothers. I'm like, oh snap, this is going to be great because we'll see Danny combating some of the, you know, obstacles that come with an interracial relationship. But it just seems that instead of exploring that a little bit more, we're seeing Danny actually making the same kind of stereotypical um, you know assumptions about Preston that the half brothers were making about her you know so I feel like at some point Preston's either going to leave or you know he's going to put his uh, cowboy boot down you know basically the equivalent of put your foot foot down and tell Danny what it is and then just leave because if I were him you know hell I paid the three months rent but it ain't worth it if you're going to you know question everything about me and you're not going to be open and honest. You're not like Zach told Fatima. It's like, tell me what you're feeling as opposed to, you know, lashing out at me. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, do you think that I'm tripping? Do you think that Danny doesn't go as hard on Preston as I said? But when you think about it, just think about most of their interactions. She's quicker to get on the phone and call Sabrina as opposed to talking with Preston herself, which is a ironic because just like maurice danny says the same thing about how you know what i'm sick and tired of you and calvin and all this drama same as fans but when you think about it danny does the same thing that sabrina does in regards to being indecisive and instead of talking with the person you are not 100 percent sure about in terms of who they are their interests and things like that instead of just having an honest conversation where you're just simply asking because you don't know you're more willing to talk with one of your girls who don't even know the full situation like that they give you somewhat good advice most of the time but then you decide to do the opposite you go through all these hoops and tricks and everything as opposed to just talking with the person who really matters the person that you're with i mean i did like the fact that uh, i think sabrina gave advice about well why don't you see about his interests? why don't you go out he's like well he talks about cows and everything well, I mean, does he really? Or are you just being, again, stereotypical? It's crazy. I don't know. That's all I got to say. I feel like I said enough as it is. But hopefully the conversation on these comments are, um, you know, good. I, that's one thing I do like about Sisters, where have and have nots is really repetitive because we're all sick of it at this point. But uh, Sisters, even when it's frustrating, it opens the door to good conversation. Like, hell, the Jacoby video. Uh, I posted yesterday about whether or not he should get fired. I love it when I see posts from both sides of the track. And they're both solid, you know, especially those who have, hey, I work in a bank or I work in a hospital. I do this or that. Basically, real world people who work in the occupations as some of the characters. And it's like, well, let me tell you, that's not how it's done professionally. I'm like, damn, I love seeing stuff like that. All right, guys. Well, 
at this point I forgot if I mentioned it at the beginning but make sure you like and subscribe hit the bell icon and select all that way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel follow me on social media links are in the description below and if you would like to donate to the channel feel free to do so on PayPal or cash App.